super activated day in the land of the living. I'm Justin David, and this is Let's Talk Beats. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on the channel, thanks a ton for coming by to see what we're working on. If this is not your first time on the channel, I'm glad that you came back. Take this time to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And in this video, what I'm gonna show you how to do is how to export all of your mixer channels in Reason Studios. So we're gonna bounce those to their own folder. With that said, let's get right into the video. Once you've completed a beat and you wanna be able to have stem files of all of your mixer channels, something that you can do is you can bounce those channels into their own folder and it makes good use if you're doing sample packs, loop packs, or you offer that inside of your license for artists who want to actually have access to the files that they can mix even though more than likely your mixing would be up to par to where they wouldn't even do that however if your mixing is not at that point and you want to make the mixer channels available that artist engineer can mix them specifically to that artist's voice then bouncing your mixer channels is a good way to go so it's very simple once you have your entire beat already done we're going to make sure that your loop indicators are at the beginning and the end and you want to make sure that your ending marker is set right in line with the right indicator for the loop. To bounce these channels, you wanna click File. Then what we're gonna do is you're gonna click Bounce Mixer Channels. Now, when you click Bounce Mixer Channels, it's gonna bring up this window. There's some settings that you're gonna to wanna to change to make sure that you give all the information and have it be at the best quality. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna to wanna to check all. But some of these we're gonna uncheck. Like we know that this sound has nothing on there because we created a separate mixer channel. So we don't wanna have that. We're gonna deselect our B tag. We do not need to have the B tag in there. Any buses that you have, you wanna deselect those as well. And then you wanna deselect the master section and the effects. The next section that you're going to want to look at is the range to bounce. You can have the start or the loop, start to end marker, left and right location. Now, if you did what we suggested earlier, which is to have your left and your right and your end all together, you can just select song or you can select loop. It really wouldn't make a difference. We also want to add a MIDI for the tempo so they can just have that information if they need it as well. So to the apply mixer settings, we wanna select all. You have the option to accept all with an exception of the faders or none. And then you have normalize. This is gonna bring everything to zero dB. You wanna click normalize, then you wanna just select. Now you're gonna to wanna to select your file format. Your file format for this, we like to use Wave. We do a sample rate of 48,000 and we do a bit depth of 24. So that gives us the highest quality. Now you select OK. Okay. When you select OK, that is going to open up a new window. We have a file system of how we like to name them. So we'll go to the actual project that we're working on, and that's Moves. We'll go to Waves. We'll create a new folder. We'll title that Stems. And then we'll select Choose. Now what this is going to do now, this is going to go through the process of bouncing all of these channels, each bar, till you'll get a folder. Now each individual channel is being normalized to be a zero db the engineer or the artist can mix those sounds how they see fit a producer tip that we would give you is to mix your sounds roughly around the negative 10 decibels to negative 13 decibels in that range that's how we get a really good quality mix and are able to get all the volume and the amplitude that is necessary in the dynamics without being too loud and without having to do too much work on the fader. So pretty pleased this will continue to normalize. We have a few more minutes. It's a process of patience. Now you take into account you do this hundreds, thousands of times. It's very powerful because it takes a lot of time. It's not just make the music and put the music up and just sitting here twiddling your thumbs, wasting time and being a loser. No, there's a lot of work that goes into this. Now that the mixer channels have been bounced, gonna let the computer process it. Depending on the speed of your computer and your system, that will have a high correlating factor to how fast this process goes. So now that we have exported those channels, we will go to our finder just to confirm that everything is what we would like it to be. And then we'll notice all of our individual sounds here they are. And we'll have a MIDI. But we'll right select it. We'll rename it. We'll take the 1.4 out and then we'll put 82. That's just so the artist or the engineer can know exactly. Okay, this is the MIDI and it's 82 beats per measure. Final step that we like to do is we like to name this Stems 039 Moves. 
you made it to this part of the video, glad that you're still here. If you learned something today that you didn't know yesterday, thanks a ton. May this reach you up, happy, and healthy in the land of the living. Much love, respect, and peace in.